Show. Ah, those colourful posters can mean only one thing. The circus has come to Dillydale. Yes, the circus is a favourite among the Mr Men and Little Misses who turn out to greet the arriving performers with welcoming arms. Especially Mr Tickle. Set the tent pole over there, Mr. Strong. That is the perfect spot to put up the big top. Uh, you're the boss. Uh, I can't help but notice that there's another empty field across the street, Mr. Stubborn. I don't care about that empty field. I care about this one. Now unroll that tent over the pole, Mr. Rosé. What my associate is trying to say is that perhaps that field is where we were to set up for the circus. No, the circus is coming to this field. OK, <laughs> but Mr. Quiet is already over there with his ticket booth. Mr. Quiet is wrong. His ticket booth should be here. Mm, I don't know, Mr. Stubborn. I see some clowns practising their juggling. Are you sure we're in the right place? Of course we are. Those clowns don't know what they're doing. They can't see past their big red noses. OK, but don't we need that circus tractor to put up the tent? No, Mr. Strong will do it. Yeah, whatever you say. Oh, look over there. Mr. Betsy has started to make popcorn. He's next to Mr. Quiet's ticket booth. Near where the clowns are juggling. My associate has a point. Uh, yeah, maybe we should be putting the tent up over there. No, no, and no. We're setting up the tent right here. Attention, please, gentlemen. I seem to be tangled in these lines. You're not tangled in lines. Stop trying to make excuses. Mr. Strong, do your work. <laughs> oh, oh. Mr. Small, what are you doing up there? Quite a view up here, Mr. Nosey. And what a sight! The big top is up and ready to pack in those crowds. And here's the man responsible, Mr. Stubborn. You've done a wonderful job. But are you aware you're in the wrong field? I am not. I'm afraid you are. The circus is supposed to be over there. It says so right here on the poster. Ooh. Friends, would it be too much trouble to get me down from here? Ah, oh, okay, not at all. This tent is cheap! Well, folks, at least now they can put the tent in the correct place. So come on down and enjoy the Dilly Dale Circus! Oh, hello, Miss Chatterbox. Full house tonight, I take it? Yes, but, um, Mr. Pernickety, I have to tell you... There's nothing like the calm before a performance, before that magical moment when the band sounds its instruments. <laughs> yes, that is a totally magical moment. Oh, I know the audience comes to see the clowns and the acrobats, but I think how sad they would be if they didn't hear the thrilling sound of circus music. Mr. Pernickety, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The band is quit. Quit? Yes, but don't worry. I found some replacements. Replacements? Can they even play an instrument? Of course. Come on, everybody. <laughs> These are clowns, not proper musicians. Don't tell them that. They play a lovely kazoo. <laughs> well then, I've got to start the show now. See ya. Hi, Mr. Pickety. Oh, please, let's tune our instruments. Shouldn't I tune my drums? Please, Mr. Noisy, there is no time for your drums, Holos. We must rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shazam! I got some peanut butter stuck in the mouthpiece. And what melodious sounds are you going to grace us with, Mr. Tickle? My goodness, you're quite good. There's hope. Showtime! Everyone must play your best. Keep your eyes on my baton. <clears throat> my career as a circus conductor is ruined. <laughs> Is no time for jokes. You are proper musicians now. <laughs> Stop this humfoolery this instant. I think somebody needs a tickle. I do not need a tickle. I need serious musicians. <laughs> Stop it. This is not the time. <laughs> Anyone needs a lift? We do! Oh. <laughs> Let me out! I am a serious conductor! Stop it, Ticklemeister! I should have never joined the circus. Welcome to the circus! <laughs> I'm your ringmaster, Miss Chatterbox! <laughs> Well, I've always wanted to say that. I've dreamt of being a ringmaster even longer than I've dreamt of being an astronaut. But I thought both were really, really hard jobs, so that's when I took up knitting. Oh, what's going on in Ring 1? Presenting Mr Bump Bareback Rider on his trusty stallion, Rex! <laughs> Wow, look at them go! I'm so glad I don't have to stand up on a horse. I'm really sure I'd fall off the first time Rex went galloping around the ring. Wow, that's weird. I say something and it happens. I guess that's why they call me the ringmaster. <laughs> or would it be ringmistress? Yep, I think so. <laughs> oh well, on with the show! Oh, I love this part. Mr Bounce is now going to leap from the top of the ladder and land in this deep water. It's a difficult trick. Shh, shh, shh. Audience, please be very quiet. Mr Bounce must concentrate on landing in the exact spot. Oh! Mr Bounce, go to the left! To the left! Uh-oh. Whee! Oh. Oh, Mr Bounce, I tried to warn you, but maybe you were thinking of something else like bluebirds or blueberries or... Oh! Mr Bump is back on his horse. That's good to know, Miss Scary. Oh, goodness, is it time for Miss Calamity's act already? <laughs> time sure does fly when you're doing anything but knitting. <laughs> May I direct your attention to the centre of the ring, where Miss Calamity is going to ride a bicycle across that tightrope, blindfolded. <laughs> I can't believe it. She won't be able to see a thing. Even the teeny weeny wire she's supposed to be riding on. I had no idea being a ringmaster was so nerve-wracking. <laughs> Augusta, quiet, please. Everyone, we must be absolutely silent. Just one word could throw off Miss Calamity. Oh. 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 Miss Calamity's going to make it! Oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Something must have distracted her. Never 
I am a really great ringmaster. And so the circus ends. It's always nice when the circus comes to town, just as it's always nice when it leaves and everything can go back to normal in Dillydale.